In this section 2.05, we introduce the key lean tools 5S collaborative planning system, which is based on the last planner system and the big room approach. So, to look at the uh, other key lean tools which are available, we have the productivity measurement system, work sampling, value stream mapping, 5S, CPS, and big room approach. So, we now look at the 5S approach to start with, what exactly is 5S? It is an effective tool, a visual management tool in lean management for improving the workplace organization. It is not only just housekeeping as some people may think, but it is a methodical and powerful tool to improve the working environment and improve the efficiency and safety in the, the long run. It is a visual uh, workplace part of the uh, digitalization approach which we have nowadays. It also helps in removing the and minimizing the, the seven ways of lean in the site and the project definitely can be at least about 10 to 30 percent more efficient if you practice uh, five years than otherwise. If you look at uh, you know the project sites which you have with uh, in the developed countries or from well established large companies at the typical project site, you can look at the difference and that is mainly a result of having applied 5S. So, the 5S actually there are 5 major components, sort, set in order, shine, standardize and sustain. We will look at these in more in detail. Basically, keeping the only keeping only the item which are required for work in the immediate environment, removing the other ones and whatever you are retaining them, you have to keep them in the proper order, a place for everything and everything in its place and keep them in good working condition, well cleaned up and so on and then you know have a standard approach across the site in practicing the three S's and then make it sustainable in the long run. So, these are the five S's which we will see in much more detail later. Now, coming to the another tool, very important tool called CPS which is the takeoff actually from the, the last planner system which was developed by uh, Dr. Glenn Ballard and Mr. Greg Havel. So, here actually instead of only the planning manager and the planning team, we also involve the, the frontline managers as the part of the planning uh, work and that is why it is called the, the last planner system. And then we involve, we invoke collaboration between all the stakeholders of the site through a big road, big room approach and that is why it is called collaborative planning system. It is actually a production planning system and designed to produce predictable workflow. That is very, very important uh, uh, to note. Rapid good learning in how to do programming, design, construction and commissioning of projects. All these actually can be properly done by a collaborative planning system. We focus on certainty and reliability, a project uh, production orientation, inclusiveness or collaboration. That is the, the cornerstones. And this system is practiced all over the world, including in India, very commonly, very important one. So, what we do, conventionally your uh, uh, CPM networks like Primavera or MS project, they cover a huge number of activities and the network is uh, prepared much earlier, a bit too much granularity and then you know, it is uh, the methods are something which were thought about much earlier. The situation can keep on changing as the project unfolds. So, here in uh, CPS, we have the main schedule which we make in the beginning with uh, looking at the milestones. From that, you know, we make a number of different phases, phase 1, phase 2, phase 3 and so on. Then, when you look at the current week in which you are planning the work, the current week's work would have been reviewed. Along with that, we also look, at, look at a look ahead window covering say typically 6 weeks. So, when you come to the 6th week, the sixth week work would have been reviewed at least five times earlier. And we look at the constraints which can affect the work which can happen in the sixth week at least five times and remove all the bottlenecks beforehand. So, in the sixth week, our work should go through like a breeze. 
and we get into a prediction system, we eliminate the uncertainties. So, the, the final week, the current week in which we are able to do the work very comfortably. And then every day we check what has happened there. There is a metric called PPC, plan person complete, which we use for checking the efficacy of our system and keep improving that all the time. That is the CPS uh, part. And finally, we come to the big room approach. In the CPS, when we are doing that look ahead planning or the weekly planning, we need to get all the possible stakeholders, all the involved stakeholders in the same space called the big room. The frontline supervisors will do the essential planning, but they need the inputs from the other stakeholders like for example, the resource suppliers, then the design people, the contractual people, the project manager and the planning manager and so on. So, all the people are in the same space, the same big room and they come to a shared understanding of how the project has to be run. Typically, for example, the current week or the look ahead planning. So, we have people in the same space, either real space or virtual space depending on the period and they have to work collaboratively and the people in the room are people with responsibility and accountability. That means they are empowered people who can take decisions and make sure that they are properly followed. Since all the concerned people are in the same space, all decisions can be taken quickly just across the room because all data is available and all the concerned people are to available again. So, we can make quick and informed decision making uh, that is possible with the big room approach that is really very useful. Uh, apart from the CPS, we also can use it for finalizing your designs and for any other project uh, planning where you have multiple stakeholders where you need to reach decisions quickly. And today of course, you know in the COVID uh, environment, we also have the, the virtual big room. So, that was the basic thing about the big room. We also saw the CPS process and 5S. Thank you.